Ryobi's new OnePlus HP Compact Impact Wrench. Does it have 160 foot-pounds of force? We'll find out. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. This is the brand new Ryobi OnePlus HP Compact lineup. Now these will all be released during August of 2020 at your local Home Depot and at your Home Depot online. Now, today we're specifically talking about the impact wrench. Now this is a compact design impact wrench, 3 8 drive anvil with a hog ring style on it, so it's easily gonna slip sockets on and off, but also retain them well. And you get four modes on this. So not, is it just a, you know, a, a compact impact that's not gonna have any modes, but you get three power modes that kind of succinctly get more powerful, one, two, and three. So three is gonna be your most powerful. And you have an automatic mode as well. Now that auto mode is gonna work both in reverse as well as tightening. Now we'll dig into that here over on the test bench. We're also gonna look at max torque. They claim 160 foot pounds of force. Now they really don't designate whether that's nut busting force or tightening force or any of that. And there's no standards in the industry. We've talked about that for, for quite some time. I've got a video out explaining kind of how torque is calculated a lot of times for these. It, it may help in this. Um, but anyway, we're gonna go over and try a test bench and we're gonna test and see does it have 160 foot pounds of tightening force or does it have 160 foot pounds of nut busting force or nut busting torque. And we'll explain what that is. Now, we guess that it's gonna be 160 foot pounds of nut busting torque because it is a 3 8 drive anvil. And I think that would be a lot of force if it can actually tighten uh, a, a faster down to 160 foot pounds, but we will see. Now, I don't think it matters whether it is or isn't, just kind of knowing what it does is gonna tell us where this kind of positions. Now. Ryobi's excited about this lineup because for the first time that I know of, they're really dedicating a line, not only to the DIYer, but they're also saying, hey, we want those pros. We want those entry level pros and we're after them with our compact lineup because we know that they're concerned about weight, they're concerned about size, they're concerned about getting in and out of tight areas. So that's why they've released this line. Now we know Ryobi's always been a great DIY tool and we've even thought it was a great tool to branch into that entry level pro a lot of times, depending on which tool it was because of the price point. In addition to the four modes, you also get a variable speed trigger. So you can see you can start this really slow and you can speed this up. Typically that's kind of how I use an impact. Regardless of which model impact wrench I've got, I typically put it on max force and then use that variable speed trigger if it has one, in this case it does, to actually ramp up how much power I need. I've just learned to use tools that way, that's the way I like it. So I'm really excited to see that this has got a variable speed trigger. It also has a brushless motor. So all of the HP OnePlus tools are gonna have the brushless motor and the new battery packs. If you get it kitted, which by the way, this does not offered in a kit yet that we know of, but anyway, it's a one and a half amp hour and it has the fuel gauge on the battery. Now this tool weighs two pounds, 12 ounces with that battery, very light tool. It also is about five and a half inches from tip to tail and about nine inches tall. So yeah, a little less than nine inches tall. And again, that's with the battery on it. So it is a small tool, it's nice and handy. Now, the drawback, if you will, with the Ryobi is kind of the elephant in the room, the battery pack on here. Now, I don't expect Ryobi to change their battery pack just for this lineup, quite frankly, because that's kind of what they tout, is that their oldest battery out there will work with their newest tool and vice versa. Their newest battery will work on their oldest cordless tool. I don't see them changing that just for one lineup and kudos to them for them. They're kind of sticking with their guns. Now, would it be nice if Ryobi had a smaller you know, battery platform that would make this a smaller base? Absolutely. But again, now you're taking away kind of that DIY base of knowing that, hey, it doesn't matter what tool I buy, any of my battery packs are gonna work on it. So 119 bucks for bare tool. You get a three year warranty with it as well. Let's go over, let's try this out on a few things and then we'll come back and wrap this up. Okay, so this is the brand new Ryobi OnePlus HP Compact Impact Wrench. It's a completely brushless line that Ryobi's out uh, with. This is brand new, hadn't even hit the shelves yet, just showed up this morning. 
Um, and we talked about it last Friday because they, they, they released it then, um, or at least released the information. So this is a complete compact lineup, uh, their HP tools. And this is, again, this is their impact wrench. It is a 3 8 anvil, so 3 8 hog ring style anvil, um, and supposed to be up to 160 foot pounds. They really don't specify whether that's nut busting torque, whether that's fastening torque. So we'll dig in, we'll find that information out. I would assume it's gonna be nut busting torque. Again, with a 3 8 drive anvil, I don't see it going to say 200 foot pounds or 200 plus. Um, and again, they're, they're after the DIY sector, but also the pro with this, and they're really, you know, not just touting uh, power from this, but ergonomics, you know, small footprint. Um, now we do have to deal with the elephant in the room and that is their, their large battery footprint, but I, I'm not gonna expect Ryobi to change that. They've had the same battery forever, pretty much. Um, so you get the same thing. It is a four mode impact. Uh, so you hear, you get, you see here at the base, you get four modes. We haven't seen that on the, on the smaller impacts from, uh, from Ryobi. So you get mode one, two, and three, which are just power modes and are gonna increase uh, proportionally. Um, and then you have the auto mode, which that's gonna work in the fastening sense, as well as in the bolt removal mode as well. So as soon as it senses tight and it's gonna shut down, and when you're backing off, as soon as it senses that it's broken free, it's gonna slow that fastener way down. So you're not slinging fasteners across the room. We'll dig into, we'll, we'll look at that here shortly. But what we wanna do is we wanna use our test bench here and we wanna tighten these down, see if we can break them free and we'll tighten them up to you know 160 foot pounds as they claim. And then we'll see if the tool breaks it free. Now, I will say that with the bolts this large on my test bench, I don't have a 3 8 drive socket. I don't think they make one to that large. So I do have an adapter on here. As we know, that does rob some power. Um, I really don't know how much, but just take that for granted that you'll probably be able to deliver a little bit more torque when you don't have that accessory drive in the middle here. Um, but again, 3 8 drive impact. Come, if, if you get the kit, you get a one and a half amp hour battery. So that's what I have in it, which by the way, new with the one and a half amp hour battery is a fuel gauge on here. So glad to see that, you know, even on their smaller batteries here. Um, and uh, you also get an LED light here at the base. It's gonna light up the fastener area. Uh, so great to see that. Uh, very ergonomic tool, I, I must say. Um, it feels very nice in the hand, nice and small, not quite as small as the stubby or the rigid subcompact, but getting pretty close. Uh, so let's see how much power we can develop out of this. So, okay, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna torque these down. We're gonna go 100, we're gonna go 125, 150, 160, and 160. Okay, so 100 foot-pounds here. So 106.8. Up, oh, actually we want to go to uh, 125 on this one. So 125. So 128.2. And then let's go to 150. We'll go to 150. On this one, the 151, and then we'll go to 160 on these next two. So 159.3. And 160.2. So what we got here, 100, 125, 150, 160, 160. Let's just call it even. And so we're gonna take our impact with our one and a half amp hour battery. Battery is fully charged. Turn it on reverse. And let's see if we can't break these free. Make sure it's on mode three. There we go, mode three.
no problem with 100 foot pounds. No problem with 125 foot pounds. There's 150, now here's 160. There's 160, here's another 160. So definitely no problem uh, breaking free the 100, 125, 150, 160, 160. Now, I will say on that second 160 uh, that it definitely took longer than the first 160. Now, I'll be honest with you, we've done this test before and it had the same effect. And what we've seen is the more heat that's built up into this tool, uh, the longer it takes to, to do that. Now, I don't see that as a problem because if you're reaching for this tool to be breaking free, nuts this big it's the wrong tool for the job will it do one or two sure but but again if you're looking for you know a, a big nut buster this is not the one that you're going to be reaching for but but still a great tool for doing what they say it will do it's definitely breaking free 160 foot pounds now i doubt it's got 160 fastening foot pounds but again they don't claim that it does they just said it's got up to 160 foot pounds so that's why i said I'm assuming they're doing, they're assuming 160 or they're, they're talking about fat, uh, loosening torque or nut busting torque. Now, what we're going to do now is I'm going to run these back on and we're going to tighten these up as tight as it'll go and we'll hold it on there for say five seconds and then we'll use our torque wrench to break these free and to use a factor to figure out how much fastening torque this tool actually has. By the way, I'm still going to use the 1.5 amp hour battery, but I am going to put a fresh battery in it. Then we're going to switch over and actually use a 4.0 amp hour battery and see if there's any change in power, not just runtime, on this tool. So we've got a fresh battery. I went ahead and changed out the battery, even though the other one still said uh, four cells on it. So you can see it, see it still said four cells, but I went ahead Put a brand new fresh battery on here. Uh, we're going to use this and we're going to tighten each one of these for five seconds with the impact. So once it starts hammering in impact mode, I'm going to hold it on there for five seconds, move to the next one. Then we're going to use our torque wrench to break these free to see how much force it takes. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our torque wrench, we'll turn it on here, and we'll go ahead and back these off and see how much it takes, see how much force it takes to break these free. 82, 94.6, and 87.3. So again, recapping, we got 87.5, 68.1, 82, 94.6, and 87.3. Now we'll divide this by a factor of 0.8 or 80% and should give us the fastening torque here. So using our factor and dividing by 0.8 or 80%, uh, taking each one of those, then we get a fastening torque of 109.4, 85.1, 102.5, 118.3, and 109.1 for an average of 105 foot-pounds or 104.9 is what we're reading as the fastening torque. Now I will tell you, I did this earlier and got 109. So I'm, you know, plus or minus 4% uh, about on that. Um, so I think that, that number's pretty close. So out of uh, about 20 pulls that we've done, again, we're, we're finishing in that 105 to 110 as far as fastening torque. Now we did see that when we tightened it to 160, it would definitely break that free 
but it struggled on the second one for 160 foot pounds. And like I said, every time we've done that, we've seen the same result. So as the tool heats up, it does struggle more and more on that highest foot pound rating. But again, it's what you expect. I mean, if you're maxing out the tool all the time, that's probably time to step up to a bigger tool, right? Um, so now here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm going to change this out because I get people all the time asking me, well, what if you put a bigger battery in it? And some people say, oh, well, all you get is more runtime. And then other people say, no, you get more power. And yes, you do get some more power. Uh, it's arguable as to whether or not you can tell the difference, but let's actually put a four amp hour battery in here and then see what kind of power results difference that we have. Um, but before we do that, let me, let me go over the auto mode. So I'm gonna put it here in auto and then we'll see here that when I break this free, you see it goes real slow. When I tighten, you see my finger is still on the trigger, yet it shut the tool down. So I'll do that again, back it up. You see that once it sensed it was broke free, it actually stopped. Now I'll tighten up, I'm going to tighten mode. Finger on the trigger, once it started impacting a couple of times, it shut the tool down. So that auto mode is gonna save you from slinging you know, fasteners across the shop when you're loosening, as well as keep you from over torquing. And then you can bring, especially on those critical fasteners, bring your torque wrench in and torque where the factory specs say or where you should be torquing those fasteners. Um, so now let's change this out for a four amp hour battery and then we'll see how much power we develop then. Okay, so now we're gonna take the same impact uh, with the four amp hour battery. So a fully charged four amp hour battery. And now we're gonna do the same torque test where we're going to tighten these down as, as much as we can for five seconds. So we're gonna hold the tool on there. Once it starts impact, impacting, we're gonna hold it for five seconds, move it along. Then we're gonna take our torque wrench, break these free, divide by our factor and find out how much fastening torque, see what the difference a four amp hour battery makes versus the one and a half amp hour. Here we go. Okay, so we've got those torqued down. So now let's take our torque wrench here and then we'll break these free and see how many foot pounds it takes to break them free. And then we'll divide by our factor. 110.2, 113.0, 84.8, last one, 107.4. So again, we got 110.2, 113.0, 84.8, 90.3, 90 and 107.4. And again, we'll divide by our 0.8 or by our 80%. That's our factor. And then we'll find out what the fastening torque is. So here's the telltale sign. So does a four amp hour battery, does a bigger battery make a difference in power on a tool versus the smaller battery? Here we go, an average of 126.4. So here was our numbers, as far as breaking them free, divide by our same factor, we get 137.8, 141.3, 106.0, 112.9, and 134.3, which gives us an average of 126.4. Our average with the 1.5 amp hour was 104.9. So that's a change of more than, uh, of right at 12 foot pounds which is more than 10% different. So I would say that's a noticeable difference, not just calculated, you know, if it's three or 4% doubt, you can probably feel it in the tool. You're getting to 10%, you know, you can feel 10% horsepower gain in a vehicle. You can probably feel the 10 horsepower gain, 10% gain in power in a tool as well. Uh, and I could definitely feel it when it was hammering. So definitely jumping to a bigger battery uh, on this compact impact does give you some more oomph. Uh, at the same time, if you're after a lug nut wrench, this is not it. If you need to take the wheels off of a trailer or off your car every now and then, it's gonna do the job. But again, I wouldn't recommend it for taking off lug nuts as a professional. 
um, but really nice little tool from Ryobi. Uh, I like to see this compact line. Again, it's the new OnePlus HP. So we'll go back over to the, uh, to the desk and we'll wrap this thing up. So interesting numbers for sure. It's very interesting to see at what a four amp hour battery does to not only runtime, but also with torque or with power. So there's always those crowds that say, well, it doesn't matter, that's just a bigger battery tank or that's just a bigger gas tank, if you will, when you, when you increase the battery size. Others say, no, it's gonna increase power, which we knew it increased power, but typically we've seen it, you know, four or 5%. In this case, that's more than a 10%. And by the way, we've tested it way more than what we're showing here. And the results are always in that 10 to 15% range in stepping up from this one and a half amp hour, two amp hour up to a four amp hour battery. So definitely see a power increase when using a bigger battery pack. That would be my recommendation with this tool. I think this is a great tool for that DIYer. I think you're gonna love it if you're using it around the house, using it on decks using it to drive lag screws, using it to take off, you know, the wheels off your ATV, off your side-by-side, -side, maybe even your occasional vehicle. If you're using it for lug nuts all the time, I would not recommend this tool. I'd recommend a half inch drive, uh, full size impact for doing so. It's just gonna struggle too much, it's gonna heat up, and it's just not the right tool for the job. But the occasional lug nut, the occasional wheel taking off, sure, absolutely reach for it unless the last person that put on your wheels was a tire shop and typically they're gonna run that on with their impact or their air impact and they're not gonna to torque them. It's probably gonna be over torqued and this is not gonna handle it, but regardless. So if you're an entry level pro or you're a professional that's gonna be using this kind of day in, day out, taking engines apart, things like that, I would recommend stepping up to a bigger battery pack. I would recommend getting you a three or a four amp hour battery pack. I would also recommend stepping up to a little better battery charger. Um, this is their 30 minute in teleport charger. I think this is like 40 bucks. Uh, a four amp hour battery or three amp hour battery, I think will cost you about a hundred bucks, but you can usually find the twin packs on sale where you can get two of them for like 120. So look for the sales. I would def definitely recommend if you're a pro, you're using this every day, I would recommend bigger battery packs with it. Um, all the tools here are between $99 and $129, if I'm not mistaken. Again, the, the impact's gonna run bare tool 119, but you can get the kitted impact driver with two batteries for 129. You can get the kitted uh, uh, drill driver with two battery packs for 129 as well. So I would expect to see this somewhere a little more than that with, with two one and a half amp hour battery packs pretty soon, um, or you can get actually both these tools with two batteries for 179. So they're gonna have some deals, they're gonna have some packages, some combos that you, can, that you can buy. Look for them pretty soon. I know they're not on the shelves yet at Home Depot, but they're supposed to be this month. In August of 2020, they're supposed to hit the shelves. So make sure you look for it. Again, it's the Ryobi OnePlus HP Compact Impact Wrench. Keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Also, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Also, that bell notification, that's going to let you know when new videos are available. Have a great day and go out and do something nice for someone.